So now, after 25 years of training, I can confidently tell you what the best training split is. You ready? Chest day, back day, leg day. When you wanna grow visible muscles, people usually focus on training body parts. And when I was younger, I did the exact same thing. But over the years, I have learned that training the way we move rather than specific body parts has a lot more carryover to my life outside the gym and it's also super fun. Now don't sleep on how important fun in training actually is. Avoiding boredom and burnout is key to staying consistent over time. Body part training splits like this are also known as bro splits. And when I was getting my start as a teenager in the gym, it seemed like every muscle magazine I read featured bodybuilders doing this type of training. Fast forward, and years later in college, I got exposed to a wide new world of ways to plan training across each day of the week in the gym. There were upper body days, lower body days, push days, pull, legs, full body, and even upper lower combination days like my favorite squat upper pull. Some of them were still focused on training muscles, but many of them focused on training movements and indirectly all the muscles that were involved. So now, after 25 years of training, I can confidently tell you what the best training split is. You ready? It's the one that you can follow long enough to see results. That's right. Any of these that I just mentioned can work. Just as long as you don't get bored, you don't get burned out, and quit before the results kick in. I've been bringing my CrossFit and functional training background together with my body part training mentality from my youth. And this combination has been instrumental in keeping my training engaging and effective even after so long. Staying engaged and knowing how to continue to bring some intensity year after year is a huge obstacle to effective training for life. So today I'm gonna to show you a few ways that I can take a movement pattern and functional training approach to hitting chest and back. I give you the functional bodybuilding bro split. Before we dive into this training split, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and hit that like button below. Also, I wanna mention that some of the training formats that you are about to see, they can be tough to recreate and train with in a crowded gym if you have lots of people fighting for the same space and equipment. So just pay attention to some of the approaches, movement combinations, and superset ideas, and you'll definitely have some takeaways to use the next time you head to the gym. All right, first up is chest, format number one. We're gonna perform three rounds of this, and we're gonna do one every five minutes. It begins with six to eight incline dumbbell bench presses at a four zero X zero tempo. That's four seconds down and up fast. Then you're gonna move right into ring push-ups. We're doing 10 ring push-ups, slow your eccentric on the way down, and then explode back up. Finally, you're gonna pick up a weighted jump rope. That weighted jump rope, you're gonna perform 75 double unders with. If that's a hard skill for you, you can scale that down to 60 or 50 reps, or you can choose to do single unders with a heavy rope and you'll get a very similar stimulus. So we're doing movement one, two, three, and if that takes you two minutes to finish, then you have all the way until the five minute mark to start a new set. Things to note here. Number one, we're starting with something classic. We're choosing a classic chest exercise that you can push heavier for more strength. Now, adding in some slow tempo, like the four seconds down, is gonna allow you to get a higher effort without needing to max out your weights. Note number two, I want you to explore some instability. That's right, using something unstable like the rings or TRX straps to make some simple calisthenics more challenging is a great approach. You'll have to work much harder to stabilize these exercises. Lastly, heavy jump rope. Definitely not something you would ever see in a classic bro split, but it's a movement that puts constant tension on the shoulders and even the triceps and chest somewhat. A heavy cable like the one I'm using will spice things up a lot. All right, moving on to format number two. Same thing, every five minutes you're gonna complete a new round. We're doing three rounds of this. The first exercise is the barbell floor press. We're going for eight reps with the three second down before coming back up. Then you're gonna move right into burpees over the barbell. We're going for 10 reps on this and we're gonna go as fast as we can. Drop to the floor, jump over and back. And then last, the third movement, arms only assault bike for 45 seconds, constant tension, pushing your pace. 
That combination of three movements should take you probably a minute and a half to two minutes. After that, you get to rest all the way until the five minute mark. Some notes on this format. Number one, consider something fast. Yeah, burpees are definitely known to make people suck wind, but they are also a very fast and explosive pushing exercise. I like pairing something fast and explosive with something slower like the barbell floor press. Note number two, pair a cardio that matches. See, nowadays there seems to be a cardio option that mimics every single movement in the gym. I chose the Assault Bike Pro with arms only because it's a great way to mimic the same pressing movements that we're training. What this does is it extends the time under tension of this working set. Note number three, too much cardio. See, classic bodybuilding would argue that there's too much cardio going on here. And possibly so, if maximal muscle growth is your goal. But I tend to want to find balance and ensure I build fitness, work capacity, and muscle all together. All right, next up, we're moving on to back focused. We're gonna begin with a barbell bent over row for eight reps. Again, controlling that lift on the way down to the floor. Immediately following that, we're gonna hit body rows. We're going for 10 to 12 reps on this and keep the pace up. Immediately after that, you're jumping on the rowing machine. Now the rowing machine has a setting to control how much tension it has. I pumped mine all the way up to 10 out of 10 to make it high drag and make my back and upper body work much harder. That's eight reps on the barbell bent over row, 10 to 12 reps on the body row, right into 45 seconds of high effort on the rowing machine. Here's some notes on this format. Number one, overload one pattern. Increasing time under tension of a muscle group is a great strategy for hypertrophy. I chose three horizontal movement pairings that we did back to back, just like this. Moving from heavy to lightest, from lowest reps to highest reps, this is a strategy to keep tension on the muscle tissue for a long set. Number two, turn cardio into muscle endurance. Many cardio machines have that adjustment on it to build tension. So something like the rowing machine with the tension at 10 out of 10 will really change the focus from cardio to more muscle endurance and strength. Okay, we're diving into format number four, back focused every five minutes for three rounds. The first movement, eight weighted strict pull-ups. The second movement, 12 dumbbell bent over rows. I'm flaring my elbows out to the side on this exercise purposefully. And then lastly, we're gonna do a 45 second max interval of rope climbs. That's from ground to the top as many times as you can in 45 seconds. This took about 90 seconds to two minutes to complete, which gave us three minutes and change to rest every single round. All right, here are my notes on this final back format. Number one, vary your angles. In order to train your back, you're gonna need to pull. Now I like to combine different angles of the same movement pattern together. Bent over rowing with vertical pulling, this is gonna distribute the work around different parts of the back. This also affords us the ability to recover one area of the body while we work another. Number two, complex gymnastics. Things like rope climbing are not for everyone or for every gym space. But performing fun movements like rope climbs is super engaging. They don't fit perfectly into a body part training approach, so they're often overlooked. But there is no doubt the rope climb trains the arms, the back, and the core extremely well. I wanna wrap up with my key points from today. We don't move one muscle at a time in life, so training shouldn't always look like that either. By applying bodybuilding methods to how we move overall, we still get all the things that work. We get bigger muscles, we get more strength, and we get the ability to recover one area while we work another. But in addition to those things, we'll also get more fun and variety. The benefits of compound lifts and advanced gymnastics for full body strength and coordination. We can still use isolation movements for specific areas that we wanna bring up. And last but not least, we will get increased work capacity for more carryover to sports and feeling good in your day-to-day -day life. Now, if you wanna go try some more workouts like this, grab a free functional muscle PDF at the link in the description below. 
Thank you for joining me. I appreciate your attention and I'll see you next time. Thank you.